Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about our uh, project agricultural policy recommendation system. Uh, this poly, uh, this project introduces an innovative addition support tool designed to modernize agricultural policies. Uh, but using advanced forecasting techniques, this also aims to provide uh, real time insights into demand and supply trends in the agricultural sector. Uh, the goal is to enable policymakers, farmers, and other stakeholders uh, to make a proactive and informed decisions. Uh, here, this is the GitHub uh, repository for our project, and uh, here are some of the objectives and some of the potential use cases which can be uh, uh, used for uh, government and policymaking for the supply chain management and uh, many other use cases as well. Uh, moving on, uh, this is the uh, novel architecture for the project. Here we are using uh, three types of data, mainly uh, remote sensing, uh, statistical data, and uh, the news data. The remote sensing data includes uh, the hyperspectral data of uh, the surface reflectance, the surface temperature, the soil moisture, and the NDVI. Uh, the statistical data includes uh, the pesticides data as well as the water quality data. Uh, the news data is nothing but uh, uh, the sentiment reports uh, of uh, uh, how the sentiment uh, of how uh, the uh, production, uh, the supply and demand uh, affects uh, the farmers and the market. All these data are uh, taken uh, for a course of uh, uh, almost uh, 20 years from uh, 2000 uh, to 2020. Uh, and uh, this is uh, mainly uh, we have uh, narrowed down to uh, wheat crop. And we have, we have made sure uh, uh, to extract the data county wise as well as state wise uh, for over uh, five states in uh, total. Uh, the main uh, the, uh, at the at the first stage, uh, we have uh, developed uh, uh, seven surrogatory models. Uh, the goal of uh, these uh, seven surrogatory models uh, is to predict yield, uh, taking uh, 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 these uh, seven dependencies into consideration. Starting with um, in the first surrogatory models, we have used the hyperspectral data of surface reflectance to predict the yield. Similarly, uh, we have used surface temperature uh, in order to predict the yield, and uh, this goes on uh, uh, for all the six surrogatory models. But uh, in in the case of uh, 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 the news data, it's just uh, the sentiment analysis uh, using the bird tokenizer. Uh, for the uh, uh, for modeling the uh, for the first surrogatory model, for the first couple uh, of uh, surrogatory models that is for surface reflectance and surface temperature, uh, we have ex extracted the features from uh, ResNet and reduced the dimension using PCA and. Uh, uh, Using XGBoost, uh, we are able to uh, predict the yield values uh, for a particular state or a particular county. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, in the case of soil moisture and NDVI analysis, instead of uh, ResNet, uh, we have used uh, vision transformers to extract the features. And uh, we have reduced the dimension uh, with PCA and uh, predicted and the yield values using XGBoost. In the case of uh, uh, statistical uh, uh, data, uh, this is just a time series modeling. Uh, so we have used the uh, LSTM uh, for these two. Uh, apart from uh, predicting the yield uh, from these uh, six uh, surrogatory models, uh, we, uh, we have also, uh, since we have taken uh, the data from 2000 uh, to 2020, uh, we also have uh, the time values, so we, we have made sure that we have also forecasted the dependency values uh, as well. Uh, so we have forecasted the future surface reflectance, surface temperature, the soil moisture and the NDVI values as well. So once uh, at the end of the first stage, uh, we will be able to. We are able to get the predicted yield values as well as the forecasted surface reflectance values as uh, similarly uh, as well. Uh, since we have uh, six uh, 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 forecasted uh, uh, values, uh, we have uh, since we have uh, seven forecasted uh, values, we have uh, in the second stage we have built uh, uh, seven LLM chains uh, using LAN chain. Uh, 
uh, uh, LLM chains are uh, nothing but uh, 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 a framework which can uh, which combines uh, the LLM and the prompts and directly gives you the output. For the first first stage, we have just used a simple LLM chain. Uh, we also made sure that uh, the prompts uh, at the second stage are different for each of uh, these uh, seven uh, outputs. Uh, at the end of a second stage, the goal of the uh, the main goal uh, here is to generate the report uh, between the uh, generate the report on how uh, uh, surface reflectance or any parameter affects the yield values. Uh, in in, the, in this manner, uh, we were able to generate the report about uh, how uh, a particular parameter. Uh, uh, varies with respect to yield values and how a change in a single value of a particular parameter affects uh, the yield values as well. If once we uh, for, for, for the first uh, in the second stage uh, while building the LLM chain, we have used uh, a GPT 3.5 turbo. With a temperature of uh, 0 0.9. And once uh, this has been done, we have made sure uh, use with the help of uh, uh, the sequential change, uh, which can uh, take uh, multiple inputs uh, as well. We we are we, we were able to take uh, all the seven reports which were generated from the first stage of uh, the LLM change and use them in a uh, single prompt and give it to our newly fine tuned uh, GPT. Uh, for this stage, uh, uh, for the third stage uh, uh, for fine tuning, we used uh, uh, an instruction fine tuning method and uh, we fine tuned GPT 3.5 uh, on open AI clusters. Uh, we also we made sure that uh, we fine tune on uh, the uh, US agricultural policy uh, documents, uh, the market analysis documents and uh, the uh, uh, de definitions and how uh, uh, the de uh, dependency reports of uh, each of the parameter with respect to supply uh, production uh, uh, and uh, the uh, supply chain and the supply demand analysis uh, for a, for wheat uh, crop uh, for over uh, 20 years, uh, with, which included almost like a combining uh, almost around like a 15 to 20 documents. Once uh, this was fine tuned uh, and the main prompt, uh, we engineered the main prompt which combined all the seven reports and was given to the, this fine tuned uh, GPT uh, to generate uh, the policies or uh, and the recommendations. Uh, we have uh, uh, made sure uh, that all, all the uh, data is been stored in the cloud. And uh, we also created an application uh, uh, using Streamlit uh, for the user interface. Uh, we, uh, uh, at this point, we have made sure that uh, we can you can just select a single state uh, that is not Dakota and uh, uh, select a, a particular state value or a particular county value uh, and uh, you know, generate the report for that. And uh, uh, you can find all the scripts down here in this uh, GitHub repositories. Yes, and uh, just as an example, uh, uh, the main uh, report you uh, looks like this. Let's say uh, uh, at the end of the first stage, we have the forecasted soil moisture values as this and the index values as this are, or, or the parameter values are as follows. And the uh, average yield uh, from the seven surrogatory models are as follows. With this, uh, we first will generate the reports of uh, report with respect to all these. And that report has been given to the main uh, fine tuned LLM. Uh, to generate uh, the report as follows. First, it generates mm, the uh, factor prediction values, telling that like how wh wh what uh, what does the soil moisture value 0.28 signifies, similarly to other parameter values as well, and uh, how how these affect uh, the yield, and what are the uh, uh, policies and recommendations that can that uh, that can be taken care of. 
also uh, in the repository uh, we have uh, 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 since we have seven surrogate models uh, we have uh, put all the source co uh, codes in the source file folders uh, uh, within uh, each of the parameter uh, folders uh, we have uh, all the uh, uh, pre processing uh, python files uh, the modeling python files as well you can uh, take a closer look over here for each one of them. Uh, 